the world it's your girl alisa from stylishcurts.com and today your girl is back with the new video uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so i'm super excited about today's video you guys because in today's video i'm going to be launching a new series here on the stylish curves youtube channel and it is going to be called shop your closet with this new series i'm basically going to be utilizing myself <laughs> and sharing my personal tips and ideas on how you can shop your closet and what i'm going to be doing also is showing you how to just recreate looks with pieces you already own i'm going to show you how you can recreate pinterest looks designer looks celebrity looks also i'm going to show you how you can revamp and restyle some of your pieces that you own also how you can repurpose you know certain pieces and make it work in a whole new different way so if you are interested in checking out today's video then you guys already know what to do and that is to keep on watching and get started as I said in the beginning I'm very excited about today's video one of the reasons I wanted to do this video is to show people that you don't always have to buy new clothes and when it comes to outfits you don't always have to wear the same outfit over and over again in the same way sometimes you just need to browse your closet shop your closet and rework what is already in there so for today's first episode I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to restyle some old outfits. Now when it comes to creating outfits, I personally like to build outfits around statement pieces and statement pieces could be anything. It could be a bright color, it could be a bold print, it could be a unique silhouette. It can also even be an accessory like shoes, sunglasses, or earrings. Whatever that statement piece is, I love to create an outfit around it. So what I'm going to do is take those statement pieces and restyle them in a completely different way. So now that I broke down to you how we're going to do today's video, let's get into the first look. shirt dress now I got this leopard print shirt dress from Target and I love this shirt dress I obviously it's leopard print so I love the print but I also love how rich the leopard print looked. it didn't look washed out it was nice and bold it is a linen shirt dress it does not have any stretch in it and like I said I got this last year so I strongly doubt it is still available at Target however if it is I will link it down below or I will link something similar so with this particular dress this was the statement piece so I wanted to uh, create an outfit we'll build an outfit around the dress and I kept things simple I did a pair of nude ankle strap sandals and then I also wore this with my YSL bag and then I just wore it with some tassel black tassel earrings that I also got from Target that same day I got the dress so when I wore this I felt like this was such a good work to weekend kind of dress this is also the kind of dress you could totally wear to church where my church girls at hey I love Jesus <laughs> uh, so I wanted to restyle this in a way that was more casual uh, as well as a little bit more trendy. I wanted to add a few different elements to this dress. So one of the ways I felt like I could do that was wearing the dress open. So when it comes to shirt dresses, one of the things I love about them is the versatility. So you don't have to wear a shirt dress the same way all the time, button up. And this one has a belt. So I decided to remove the belt on this dress, unbutton all of the buttons and rock it as a duster. And I thought that was going to be a really cute, fun daytime look. 
and I decided to add it with a pair of dark wash denim jeans and the jeans I got from H&M. Now I, I like the dark wash and I felt like it would play against the kind of goldish yellow, mustard yellow color in this leopard print dress and I feel like that they kind of match because they're both rich in color. So I decided to do that and then I just added a little white basic uh, camisole uh, to tuck into the jeans. And then one of the things I did that I love that's trending now is if you have any like laced up shoes, especially sandals, I love the whole idea of tying them around your jeans. I think that is so fun. It's definitely trendy. It's not something I would want to do all the time. And I also decided to add this uh, straw tote, which I did get from J. Jill. I thought the tote, the neutral color in the tote and that texture really played nicely with the leopard print dress. So I really thought that this was a super cute look. And for accessories, I decided to add on this gold chain link necklace, which is a trending accessory right now. I love how it's nice and chunky and it's a little shorter. And then I just have on my Louis Vuitton Louis earrings. And I really just love how the gold, the yellow, and the neutral from the, the neutral color from the bag really all works well together. I love how I completely remixed and restyled this look. So I took it from a very like professional, you know, kind of modest look and I definitely switched it up and made it more of a modern, trendy kind of look. So if you are not following me on Instagram, you should be. All you gotta do is follow at Stylish Curves. On Instagram, that is where I post a lot of my daily outfits. I also share with you new things that I'm getting in on my Insta stories. So it is definitely a good decision for you to follow me on Instagram. I will also have a link to my Instagram down in the description box. to look number two so for look number two the statement piece here is the top now I am in love with this top and this top is from Eloquy it is a polka dot teflon top it can be worn off the shoulder or on the shoulder and in this photo I think I'm wearing it slightly off the shoulder now when I got this top my first instinct was to wear it with like a pair of skinny jeans or a pencil skirt but in this photo I'm wearing it with a pair of Bermuda shorts and I also put on my uh, one of my favorite summer sandals are these hot pink fuchsia uh, patent leather ankle strap sandals and these are from Sam Edelman now if these are still available I will I will link everything down below that is still available from these outfits uh, again some of these pieces are really old well not old, old but you know they're old <laughs> you can't get them now but if by if for some reason they are available I'll link it down below all right so then with this look i had a straw tote so it's a color block straw tote and i think i got that tote from express i also don't know where that tote is <laughs> it, i thought it was a really cute daytime look so i wanted to restyle the top because again that was the statement piece for me and i thought it would be really cute to wear the top with a pair of like slim leg pants that hit at the ankle a little bit above the ankle and so what I did was I took the top and I paired it with these really nice blue trouser pants which are also from Eloquy. Now I love these pants from Eloquy because I feel like they are very comfortable. They have a good amount of stretch in them. Uh, these are fitting very nice and skimming over my curves. And I just thought the blue with the different polka dot colors in the top played really well off of one another. And then for accessories, I added a pair of white mules. Now these mules I got from, where did I get these from? From Venus, yes. I got these mules from Venus and I wear them all the time. So I wanted to continue on 
bringing out the the white from the shirt with the muse and then for another added pop of color i decided to add this croissant pouch which i got from amazon it's in a nice pretty yellow color and i love how i can rock this as a clutch and i thought the yellow played really well with the blue and the pants and then also there's a yellow polka dot within the top so I took it from kind of like casual to a little dressy casual. So with the shorts, it was casual. And with the pants, kind of the pants kind of dress it up just a little bit. And I feel like this is also a great daytime look. Let's get into it. Now, with this look, I felt like it is a very chic yet kind of sophisticated look, but you can see there's trendy elements to it. Now, I'm wearing a pair of black full leather paper bag waist shorts. So for me, in this look, the shorts were the statement piece. I got these shorts, I remember when I got them, and these are from Eloquii, and I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wear these shorts. So initially, I was like, oh, I'm gonna throw on a t-shirt with these shorts, or uh, I was gonna throw on like a cute, sexy top with them, but then I was like, oh, you know what, I got this tan blazer that would look good with it. So I decided to go with the blazer for this, and I really like how this look came out as well. So so again, the shorts are the statement piece, but again, I added the tan blazer. And then for shoes, I'm wearing my Dior slingbacks. I can't remember the actual name of them. And then I added my YSL crossbody bag. And I just added a gold chunky necklace. I did hoop earrings. And I thought this was a really cute look. Now, I wanted to wear these shorts again, cause I'm just like, these shorts are so stinking cute. I have to wear these shorts again. So I decided to style them in a completely different way this time and a little bit more simplistic, but yet fun and flirty, right? You, you feel me on the flirty, right? So <laughs> I'm pairing the paper bag full leather shorts with a hot pink off the shoulder ruffle top. I decided to tuck the top in so you can see the belted waist with the shorts and also the ruffles i feel like really uh stand out and then the color hot pink really just pops against the black faux leather now that is one of the things when it comes to black leather i love how black leather looks against bright colors it just makes your look stand out even more now i am truly not a matchy matchy person when it comes to shoes matching with my tops I used to be like that back in the late 90s, early 2000s. I used to always feel like I had to have my shoes match my shirt. But in this case, I decided to take a, a, a trip back <laughs> and match the shoes to my shirt. I'm wearing those uh, hot pink patent leather ankle strap sandals that I got from Sam Edelman. And I thought that that looked really cute with the, the faux leather shorts. And even though it's it's a little matchy matchy, I still feel like it works in my opinion. And then for a bag, I'm wearing the YSL bag as a shoulder bag this time, opposed to it being a cross body. But I could also do another pop of color and you know rock the croissant clutch with it because it's yellow and yellow against pink is also an amazing color combination as well. However, I did like this look for like a night out, like you're going out for drinks, you know, with your girls, or that would even be a cute date night look for like spring or breezy summer night. So again, I thought this look was very fun and flirty and four earrings. Again, I'm wearing the Louis Vuitton Louise earrings and I just really thought this was a cute, fun and flirty look. where I got this set from. I think it is so cute. It is a set from Catherine's. Now, 
Catherine's is not a place that you go to if you're looking for trendy clothing of the moment. They pretty much have a lot of basics and things like that. And I actually found this striped, this pinstripe blue and white linen set from them. And I wore this probably at the beginning of the pandemic. And I did a campaign with them and this was me like showing like how if I had to, you know, dress up for a meeting or something at home, I thought the linen set would be cute and comfortable for that. Now, the thing about this set I've always liked was the pants. I love how these pants fit. So they had a banded waist in the front and they also have a uh, elastic in the back. And I love how the legs were just not too wide leg. They were nice and streamlined. This set was just a statement look in itself but of course with sets you can always break up a set so i decided to restyle this just using the pants only with the pants i decided to keep it simple and i added this white stretch top that has organza sleeves and this top i'm wearing is from eloquy and i thought that that would be such a cute spring summer look and it's, I feel like it's a very chic look as well. So with the top, I decided to tuck it into the pants. And again, these pants fit so good. I love how these pants fit. And they also have a little slit on the side around the ankle. Now for these pants, I wanted to kind of switch it up on the shoes. Now, my first thought was to go with the white muse and just do a whole like white and you know, blue pinstripe look. However, I decided to add a pair of faux croc blush pink mules. Now I got these mules from Steve Madden and these are actually last year I got these mules. I'm not sure if they're still available, but these these mules are so cute and comfortable. I mean, they're comfortable as a heel can get, <laughs> but I love how they fit and I love having that blush pink pop against that blue and with the white like again this is a great daytime look this is definitely i'm going to get some brunch <laughs> i'm gonna get me some french toast and some pancakes and i'm gonna have me some mimosas i think that is what this look screams to me now for accessories with this look i decided to go with this little white bag that I got from Venus. It has a gold handle and a chain and I just think that this bag is so cute and it just again plays off of the white that is within the pants and obviously the top and then I feel like the bag was dainty enough for the look so it's like you kind of get that romantic sleeve with the organza from the top and the pants are so sleek and streamlined that I didn't want to do a really big bag so I love this white bag. I wear it all the time and I thought that was cute with it and then again the blush pink in the muse I thought was a great look as for earrings with this look I decided to go with these white hoop earrings with the uh, balls around it these are kind of they have the balls are like raffia I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly but they have a little texture to it and I thought that was a nice pop as well since the top has a lower cut I thought that would definitely really bring out my face and just the white and the pinstripes and then the pink I really love this look and that's how I restyled it and I think I could again wear this as a great daytime outfit going to lunch to brunch or even like a little daytime event and it's, it's just a really nice look for the spring summer season enjoyed today's video let me know in the comment section down below what did you guys think which outfit did you like the best also if you have any video ideas for me for this series definitely comment down below hit that thumbs up if you like today's video and don't forget to share also if you are not make sure you're following stylish curves on instagram and if you want to check out more plus size style fashion and beauty make sure you're following the blog stylishcurves.com thank you guys again and i will see you all in my next video bye